Hola guapos o guapaites, ¿cómo estamos esta noche tan bonita? Picharo aquí también, con los pies con apoyos en los dedos. How are you doing beautiful people? A very weary Picharo reporting in for tonight. I'm in, uh, where am I? La Geneta. Um, halfway in between Albacete, Albacete and La Roda, which is where I'm going to end up tomorrow night. Uh, it's been a pretty long day in all today. Um, I eventually got the key. I arrived here in uh, La Ginette at four, but I couldn't get hold of the guy from the um, Ajuntamento until angels appeared in my life again. And uh, a funny little story. I'll quickly tell it to you, and I'm going to leave you with that tonight. I'm well, I'm safe, uh, I'm tired. My limp seems to come in the evening. I don't know why, because I'm not limping throughout the day. But I've definitely got a limp on, and I'm going to go and sleep tonight in uh, a referee's changing room at the football pitch. It's genius. What an adventure. Um, but once again, like what happened, very similar to what happened in La Fontenera, uh, actually. Um, when I was starting to get a little bit apprehensive about uh, where I was going to sleep tonight, it got to six o'clock and I'd been phoning this number and I phoned the police. The police wouldn't pick up and the number for the Ajuntamento wasn't answering. And it's too far to walk to La Roda, another 20 kilometres uh, from six o'clock would have meant I've got there at like 10, half 10, 11 o'clock and it's too far in the dark. And there's no places to pitch my tent. It's all open land. It's all turned over. It's all been planted recently with onion seeds. And uh, I was wondering what to do. I had my lunch and it got to six or seven o'clock, half six. And I decided I need to go and do something. So I put my rucksack on and just kind of went for a wonder. At the same time, I sent a message to my little bro, Chrissy. And he sent me a message back saying, all right, anytime now your angels should turn up then and i saw this message as two women two beautiful women two local sisters uh maria and uh oh pilar um walked by and knowing what these little towns are like i simply called them over started talking to them and it just so happened that Pilar had the phone number for Fernando, who was the guy from the Ajuntamento, from the council. The councils are very small here. They have like one or two people working and they do it all. And she was very kind to phone him and kind of kick his ass. You have a, you have a pel tienes uno peregrino aquí. No puede pasar toda la noche en la calle. Abierto la alberg, abierto la alberg. <laughs> so after me not being able to get through to the office number because he wasn't there, um, a direct line came from the universe <laughs> and, um, and got me the keys that I needed which is where I'm going to go back to sleep tonight um, I get the joys of sleeping in the referees changing rooms in the football pitch in a local sports centre and I'm just not sleeping on one mattress I'm sleeping on three throw mats like they're using judo <laughs> <laughs> can't write this it's so funny it's so cool this is where I was probably going to be sleeping if I couldn't look in the forest <laughs> I didn't fancy that there's a motorway on the other side with trucks driving past all the time and uh, it wouldn't have been a pleasant experience um, but this is going to be a pleasant experience yeah I feel like I'm totally totally guided totally secure totally looked after um, I have my little wobbles but well, this is I think part and parcel of being a human and I uh, keep just forgetting that I've got this you know I've got this is under control it's totally totally perfect look this is where I'm gonna go and stay <laughs> it's so funny it's so funny um, on my left hand side he's getting a very nice sunburn suntan should I say um, because I'm literally facing the sun on my left all the time, heading west. I'm joking with Chrissy before about having to start walking backwards so I can even out my tan. 
<laughs> Christian reminded me, or reminded me, told me that this is a Golden Gate year this year. Um, one of his mates from San Compostela, Santiago, who was speaking to a, a couple of nights ago, and he said it's a Golden Gate this year. That means if you complete the uh, Compostela de Santiago this year, then you get all your sins absolved. That's cool, isn't it? So I didn't even know that. It seems nice and quite nice and aligned when I'm looking at things from a higher perspective, which I do quite a lot of the time, a soulful perspective, not just a third dimensional perspective. Another thing that I've been told recently is that I can have my karma in this lifestyle, this lifetime. So that'd be cool, wouldn't it? I could have my karma and I can resolve all my sins. So I absolve, absolve my sins. Um, then that means that I'll be able to choose when I leave my body and when I ascend, which is funny because my dream the other night was about, one of my dreams, I've many dreams, one of my dreams was about uh, falling to my death, but my soul leaving my body on the way down. Go figure. Interesting, huh? Um, so there's all these kind of wacky, spiritual, cosmic things going on. Here's my room. This is me for the night. Yeah, these cosmic, spiritual, wacky things are really cool and really interesting. Um, I feel so aligned with this path. It's so cool. It's uh, so nice to share it all with you. Um, I'm not doing any speaking during the day, really, when I'm on the road. I've just had a really nice chat, though, to some people, four, three or four people, locals that were working in the local shop. Bless them, they gave me some fruit and lots of advice. Told me to lock the door, be care of the teenagers. They're all going a bit weird these days. <laughs> And this is it. This is life. So, on that note, I'll be you a buenas noches. I'm so tired. I've got to get off my feet. I'm going to go and do that now. I'm going to upload, upload, upload this video by the time it's uploaded. I'll be dead to the world. And uh, tomorrow, hasta la rura. There's just another straight line. I cross the bridge and then go in a straight line. Another four hours walk. Um, oh, the trainers are coming in handy as well. I invested in the new trainers today and it's like, um, it's like having new feet during the day for some reason in the evening my toes don't want to do anything i need to find out a way to get food delivered maybe it's a pizza in the hostel tomorrow night oh vamos a ver te quiero mucho gracias por escucharme thanks for listening i love you a lot i uh, hope you have a pleasant evening and uh, don't forget um write a comment below if you've got any questions anything you want to ask and uh, get sharing this project let's get this money raised besitos ciao